Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Sunbreak. Last time, we saved Bahari from an Anjanath and that unlocked many new things back at the Elgado outpost. So, let's see what we got. First of all, I finished finally the last Palika request and we unlocked the secret move from gathering Palikos. Ahoy Hunter, thanks for helping promote the campaign. Your Palikos did great. Oh, and you too, of course. Meow, your Palicos have a new secret support move at their disposal. Some kind of litter box? Oh, it's a lottery box, my bad. Well, I hope your Palicos have good luck using it. I know I sure could use some. Hmm. So yeah, let's put that right here and now. To the body dojo. Secret support moves. And that's the lottery box. When a scroll is drawn, a random support move will be performed. Sure, let's see what it does. And the meal scenario is returned for me, so I should put some new ones to gather some more materials. Which, of course, reminds me of something. Every time the meal scenario is returned, you can get some items from the hood nest. Which is right here. Normally, time it to get five and five from the meal scenarios and from the goodness, but this time I was two quests too early. You can get a maximum of five items after doing five quests. So it's some pretty convenient timing. With that said, let's continue. A new request from Pino. Hi Hunter, think you can help me out? I was talking to Minail earlier and seems she's having a bit of a dry spell. Seems she's having trouble upgrading some kind of umbrella weapon. So I got to thinking. Oh. But something waterproof that won't tear in heavy wind. Sails, right? Mm -hmm. So if she looks at some tough, flexible same material, maybe she'll get some ideas for an umbrella. Can you help? So I need a Kesu and a Yura Todos for that. Uh, I'm looking. Safe travels to you. I'm not looking forward to hunting Yuratodus nor Kesu. And looks like Alo has a request as well. We're ready for some arena Sorry, action. I know you're busy, but I need your help with something, yeah? Gunlance research. I'm working with Minail right now on upgrading our gun lances. We're getting materials together to experiment with. Mm. I finally wheeled down what I need to Asarius materials. Nothing is as tough or as heat resistant. That's where you come in, yeah? I need to go out there and get me some Basarius materials. You'll be compensated, of course. Next time, yeah? And let's see what Pasapato has now. Why, hello. The hoods are such lovely creatures, wouldn't you agree? Ooh, I'm simply fascinated by them. I thought to write a friend back home about them because they are such rare creatures. But then I thought, wouldn't it be marvelous to include some photos? I'll take them myself, but these old hands of mine shake something fierce. Could I trouble you to take some for me? Any picture of codes in Elgato will do. Well, young whippersnapper, get snapping! We need three Kahoot picks for him. We are rooting for you. And I know just where they are. But first, let's see Asuki. Meow the Hunter, I was wondering if you could lend me a paw. I'm preparing a moon viewing party and I had an idea. What if I were to invite some bunny friends to the party? Bunny friends and bunny dango. Nice combo, right? See, Layden has it that bunnies pound much on the moon, so it would fit the team quite nicely. The only problem is I don't know any bunnies personally. Do you think you could run up some for me? Capture one Lagombi. <laughs> well, let's see what Chichi has for us. Oh, R, so you managed to find Bahari? Thank you so much! But he's staying out in the field to carry on his research. There's just no helping some people, is there? He of all people should know how dangerous he's out there. Yep. Nevertheless, we're pushing ahead with our investigations into the Tree Lords and the other Kingdom monsters. <laughs> some new quests have become available as well. Why not have a look at them? It's great to see you. Well, I know which quest we will be doing. So let's choose it right now. We will be doing this one right here with Basarios. Take care. 
which is why the Ardos request is very convenient, so we'll be gathering the various materials as well. Now let's see what Gidlin has about Palamutes. Oh, hey I might not look like it, but I'm an up-and-coming engineer myself. No one can beat me when it comes to curiosity. Hmm. Now, what I want to chat about is these Palamute gears you've, in you've got going on. I can see some exciting room for improvement. I think I can click and clank and crank out some doggy toys. I can't really explain, but it'll be awesome, promise. Uh -huh. My curiosity knows no bounds. Help me find the materials it demands for me. The technological revolution is near. Steel Gajau Whisker. Goodbye. So yeah, those are the Gajau you can find on the Sandy Plains. Nothing too hard to get. You are! Thanks a bunch for saying Harry. Yeah. He's real smart, like way smart, but he's a bit of a free spirit. Definitely not the easiest to deal with. Oh man, he's always leaving the outpost and causing trouble for Admiral Gallius. Wish he'll think about the Admiral more. Wow. <clears throat> er, I mean, I wish he'll think about his re responsibility more. <laughs> anyway, for saying Bahari, I have a little gift for you. It's like a hood outfit based on the armor worn in the kingdom a long time ago. And about a little slip of the tongue back there. Please keep it with us. Don't tell us all. Please? Well, gotta go pump some iron. My lips are sealed. And the last thing seems to be right here at the harbor. Pingar. Yo ho 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 ho. Ahoy, Hunter. How you doing today? Good? I was wondering if you had a second. Day in and day out, it's the same thing, eh? Crates of caravan is surplus tanko. I've never been so sick of a routine. Which got me thinking, how about we break up this monotony with a little quest, eh? Something spicy or sweet? How about both? What's that? Oh, it's not for me, you goof. The quest is for you! I just wanna hear about it when you get back. Rathian and Bishatten, huh? <laughs> See ya. Maybe some other time. If that's it, let's eat something before we depart on the quest. No, before we photograph the goods. Now there is one code right here. So let's take a photo. That's my code. And he's a sleepy fellow, it seems. The next one is obviously as well. Right over here. It's the baby snowy cohoot. Oops. I overshot it. And here he is. Come on. Smile for, smile for the camera. <laughs> and let's feed him, why not? Glad to see you're doing fine. And the last Kahoot is right here, next to Fury. And those are all the pictures. Pretty easy, right? Simply marvelous. Ho oh, ho, what a beautiful photos. This will be perfect for my friend. Thank you so much for indulging an old man. The reward I've prepared is some layered armor with a Kahoot design. As media I grew up with made it for me, but it'll look I'll look ridiculous wearing this. But you're young, perhaps you can make it work. Kahoot mask. Hmm. I'm curious, what does the code mask look like? The hood mask... Where is it? Oh, is it in the armors? No. Hmm. Oh well, I'll search for it later. Let's get on with the Basarius quest. I commute through the sandy plains to trade at the outpost, but when night falls, there's this weird rock wall blocking my route. 
What gifts? Now I have to take the long way around. Ugh, somebody do something. A weird rock wall blocking a route. That reminds me of all the Monster Hunter egg delivery quests. Every time you deliver an egg, a giant rock will block the shortest path. So yeah, let's get to this bothersome rock. For him, I'm bringing a heavy bowgun, a Hermitor heavy bowgun, which has water shots. Perfect to use against Basarius. And of course, the heavy bowgun really, really wants to have this skill right here. Evade extender, preferably to Although, one works just as well, since we'll be dodging a lot of hits. And the special shot of the... Hey, Bogon is best to use him as soon as possible. It recharges over time. And I'll have to dodge that one since I can't counter shot it because Basarius hits twice for some reason. And I am using the suit skill which allows to... <laughs> That's the new move, huh? It is kind of amusing seeing me roll around just like that. Come on! <laughs> and as I was saying, the switch skill I am using right now in the Bogon allows for some rapid fire. And if you rapid fire too much, your bogon will overheat and you won't be able to shot the rapid fire anymore. Whoa! And as you can see, the heavy advantage of the heavy bogon is that I don't have to engage much with, don't let it get away! with the attacks of Basarios. No game with the poison cloud or fire cloud or sleep cloud and whatnot. And the evade extender is to get away at a reasonable pace. And this bogan has the wyvern ammo. which does a lot of damage, just like that. And there he goes, swimming again, but I can simply scale the wall and be done like that. No need to deal with that annoying attack. <laughs> Come on, dodge. You may extend it. Perfect. Hmm. 
<laughs> and to do that help have me perfect. And an explosion to the face. Oof, I can't avoid that. <laughs> and that's almost my entire health. Sadly, the wire ammo has short range. And looks like I get a wire on the right. Just like that. Watch and learn. Boop. Bye -bye. Sadly, I already wasted all my good ammo, so I'll have to use normal shots from now on or recharge at the camp. But it's fine. The normal shots will probably be enough. And it looks like Barrett helps us with an extra shot. Nice. I really want to use counter shot against Vasarius, but menu he is spamming this that borrowing attack which is a multi hit you ask for this careful And there he goes again. This is the end of the line for you. And uh, <laughs> spinning around. Will he ever do anything other than those attacks? Borrowing? <laughs> it's trying to get away! And sometimes charging. Probably not since we're using a ranged weapon, but oh well. Master buddy! No, looks like I went the wrong way. But I can simply Find the wall. Now it's personal. <laughs> no more holding back. And perhaps I should have recharged my ammo though. I'm pretty sure the normal ammo is enough for this, especially since I just have to aim for the heated points. And that's a nice and vulnerable back. Let's go with level 3 scenes. 
should do more damage if I do it correct. <laughs> this is the end of the line for you. That looks like keeping close with the bogon is like kind of a good idea. Since he will do any other attack or than simply spamming the roll around and the borrowing attack. But he should be almost in capture range, hopefully. That looks like it's gonna hurt! This one's all for you! <laughs> oh. It's very amusing it. seeing him roll around. <laughs> That's another ad attack to dodge by moving forward. I wonder, how is this spread ammo going to rapid fire? Out of sheer curiosity. Not very well, it seems. I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm gonna get you. I, I am dead. <laughs> or maybe not. That's what happens when you get greedy. Ah, no, he was tired, so no projectile will come out from the counter. Their heaps. Get hit. Now's our chance. And tranquilizing. 
I actually wanted to go here in order to cancel the last part of the trap laying animation. That was Bussarius, not much changed. Not the most exciting monster, but at the least it's not the hardest monster to hunt with the right weapon. And about the heavy bogon, it eventually also gets Another switch skill, which I am very excited to get eventually, which boosts damage dealt by shots. Now then, Feeling fierce today, yeah. Let's deliver those <laughs> materials. Next time, yeah. And with all that done, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.